Well, I just want to, I keep saying it, I don't know why we are not looking at what is happening around the world. Ian, we're seeing uh, scenes out of Jakarta where thousands of people are marching against the rising fuel prices. I mentioned before, uh, scenes in Belgium, uh, farmers are protesting against their governments there. We've seen in Switzerland, they're threatening to put people in jail if they don't, uh, if they go past their mandated amount of electricity or, or heating that they're supposed to have. We've seen in California this so-called flex alert. This is a new word, just saying, again, blackouts. It's called flex alert. It's happening all around the world. Ian, I want to show you a, a tweet from someone in, uh, in California. Someone put out a tweet saying, well, the power just went out here at wherever they were, to which some wag at the Oil and Ga Gas Workers Association tweeted back, get somebody to bring you five gallons of wind turbine. This sums it all up, doesn't it, Ian? Oh, very much so. Look, this is not a crisis of energy at all. This is a crisis of common sense. Politicians don't need to be scientifically literate. They don't need to listen to advisers who have 23 years uh, of life experience and, and can really advise ministers about how the world works. This is a crisis of common sense. It's a crisis of logic. It's a crisis of critical thinking. And it's a crisis which affects the Western world. Blind Freddie can see, if you look elsewhere in the world, to go to net zero, to go to 50% or 43%, is not in the interests of the people you're meant to represent. It will send people out of work. It will stop people having energy. People will have to make decisions in this energy-rich country. Do I have a, a hot shower? Do I have a hot meal? Do I heat a room? Do I have air conditioning? This is a crisis of stupidity and a crisis of common sense. And the sooner people realise, as when they look at their electricity bill, that this government is sending them broke at the behest of unelected people in Europe, then uh, the better that is.